What's going on guys, this is the Clyde, I'm bringing you another VR video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to do stuff like this inside your VR headset. If you guys are wondering how to do this, make sure you follow all the steps and I'll teach you exactly how to do this. So let's get started. So guys, to do this, you're gonna need three things. You're gonna need the Lumia Stream, which is available online, link down below. You'll also need OVR Toolkit, which I'll have linked down below to help you get this running. And lastly, you will need to be on Steam VR. This will not work with standalone Quest at the moment. So guys, to begin, you need to go and buy OVR Toolkit. With that, you guys can go down to the link in the description that is labeled Custom URL Plugin, which should bring you right to this page. You need to install this once you have OVR Toolkit and make sure your headset is not currently running. Once you got this installed and you have turned on your headset, you can also load up Lumia Stream and we will get to this portion in a little bit, but let's get into the VR headset first so I can show you how to set that up. So guys, once you get into your Steam home environment in your VR headset, you will on your left hand have this. This is your OVR toolkit and don't mind this, this is all live, but with OVR Toolkit, what you'll want to do is hit this edit mode right here. This cog wheel. Hit the other cog wheel to bring up your settings. So guys, once you hit this part of the thing, you will have this new button right here called URL. You will want to click that and hit open overlay if it doesn't open automatically. It should pop up a thing like this. I have one over here. What you want to do in here and to get this set up is slide this all the way over and this one all the way over so it's 2000 by 1000 that is the best way i have figured it out after that what you want to do is actually go back to your desktop where we'll set up the lumia stream part of this and then we'll come back to this after we're done with that so guys once you guys get into the lumia stream app you will see all this here and what you want to do is actually come over to overlays and press add new overlay you want to add in a new overlay. I'm going to call this one tutorial and just do 1080p. So next thing you want to do is go in here, go to HUD effects, HUD FX video, and just make sure you have a HUD effects video one or whatever you want to name this layer saved right here and click save and click copy URL. And then you can close this window. Now guys, you want to go back into your headset. All right, guys, now we're back in the headset. What you want to do is actually open up your keyboard like this. Click right here. Click control V on the, this keyboard and click open. You'll see a window pop up like this. And it should have nothing but this bar and this little arrow right here. You can now close this window out and close your keyboard out. So guys, with this window right here, make sure you hit the cog wheel, keep visible and then your block your cursor input. So this is where you, when you are pointing at it, your cursor doesn't affect it while in game. So guys, after you select the keep visible and block cursor icon, you wanna go to the advanced settings right here. It should outline it in yellow. You want onto your left hand again, scroll down. This is kind of finicky, so be very careful with it. Scroll all the way down to the bottom to where it says track device. Next, you wanna hit the track device to your headset. Now you're gonna see that the headset is tracked just like this. You wanna grab it, pull it back to right in front of you exactly how you want it. Next, you wanna scroll back up to the top of this menu where you'll see the larger icon. Click this until the yellow is completely out of your view, inside your headset, that is. And just like that, it should be completely out of your view. You can close down this window. So guys, once it's all the way in front of you, you click the settings here. Make sure that window is closed. Click the settings again, and it should be back to clear. You should be able to move around, do everything once again in VR. So guys, once you're back on your desktop, you can go back down to your overlays, click the one that you have set up, and you can hit emulate right here, HUD effects, and it can be whatever it wants. Right now I'm gonna run the cat one, but if I show you my, my headset, it is working perfectly inside my headset, it follows me everywhere. So guys, with that, next thing all you gotta do is come to the HFX, 
look up exactly what you want i can do this moist jump scare right here hit use use as a channel point or a chat command it is up to you how you want to do it i'll just set this one up as a channel point and you can hit test as you can see if i hit test it just shows up perfectly just like that so next thing you want to do is just click done perfect refresh and if you go to your commands church points it is right here and if i click test it pops up perfectly and just like that it is all set up it is going to be on your twitch stream so guys one thing you got to do in here is make sure you come to add a new connection and add your twitch platform this is how you're going to get the channel points to be attached to your account also what you want to do is click this edit icon right here and make sure a lot of these are checked i the only one i don't have checked is send messages in your twitch chat and that's because i use stream so guys that's how you get the hud effects to work in your vr headset i hope you guys enjoyed this is going to be a really fun and change your environment up a lot within the vr streaming platform and if you guys want to see this live on action make sure you guys come check out my twitch channel down below and hit that follow and like button if you like this type of content and i'll see you guys in the next one peace